Hey guys, welcome back to another hoof trimming video. I am cleaning it off again first. It seems every time I don't, someone comments saying that they'd like it clean first. It's not necessary, but nothing's wrong with having it be too clean. You can see right away here that I can pull back that loose hoof horn on the heel. That already tells me that there's gonna be a pretty decent problem going on here. Before I start digging into the problem, first things first, I just gotta trim up the hoof the way it should be. As always, a big shout out to all my followers. You guys are awesome. You make me want to keep putting out good content. Most of the problems I do see on dairy cows are on the front medial claw, and that's because that's the most load bearing claw on the cow. This problem usually stems from standing or walking too long, which is why farms try to put down rubber mats on long walks to the parlor or anywhere that they're standing for long periods of time. And oftentimes we recommend they put in sand bedding because that's just the most comfortable bedding for a cow. And by having soft bedding, that just encourages the cow to get off her feet and lay down. These problems are more frequent in the summertime because when a cow gets hot, she'll stand up. So farms try to combat this by putting in sprinkler systems and by having fans nonstop blowing in the barn to keep them cool. So I originally thought the problem was in the heel, but you can see all that pus coming out there. I just released some pressure. This makes me believe that she had a white line lesion and all that built up pressure actually exited through the heel, but stemmed in the white line area. Now that I've got it trimmed down enough, I can start breaking out the hoof knife and seeing what we're dealing with. Right now I'm just picking away at this loose hoof horn until I know what I'm dealing with. And when I say loose hoof horn, that's anything not fully attached to the sole of the foot. You can see here when I gently push on it, she still has a big gap and most likely that's going to go all the way up to the heel. Cutting away this hoof horn doesn't hurt the cow at all. It's only when I get down to the live soft tissue where it starts to hurt. And all of this hoof horn will grow back approximately one quarter of an inch every month. Right now I'm just trying to go slow and smooth, try not to aggravate the lesion or hurt the cow. The deeper I get into the hoof horn, the softer it gets, so that's why I usually have to go a little bit slower because it's not as tough and as strong as the outer hoof horn. I do need to make sure all this loose hoof horn is taken off, otherwise it'll grow back before the lesion has time to heal and it can grow over the lesion and then build up pressure again and then we're back where we started from. I'm trying to go as slow and as gentle as I can, but unfortunately some mild bleeding is expected, but it's nothing too major. Everything I'm doing is for the cow's benefit. I would never do anything to intentionally hurt a cow and she's going to be feeling a lot better after I'm done. Now it's time to put the rubber block on. Right now the tool I'm using is called a rasp and what that does is it roughs up that claw so that the glue will stick better to it and not fall off before it's time. I like to use a rubber block instead of wood because it flexes to the cow's movement when she walks and it just provides a little bit more cushion for her. This block will act as a crutch so she can put most of her weight on this block and not the sore lesion. Now it's time to wrap her up and send her on her way. Right now I'm putting some antibacterial solution on there and then she gets a gauze with iodine mixed with salicylic acid which is aspirin for inflammation which also in turn helps with pain. A little bit of cotton for some cushion as she walks and then wrapped up and this wrap will stay on one to two days until the farmer takes it off and that gives her some time to air it out too. Sometimes we do come back and retreat it and rewrap it as well if she needs it. Some of you asked in the comments if I ever talk to the cows or give them some scratches, so I thought I'd go in the front and give her some scratches, and she was taking the whole process really well. Now we're letting her out, and hopefully she heals up just fine. She can go lay down and relax. She is going to be a little bit lame on this foot to start out until she can figure out that she can walk on that block. These blocks usually stay on about a month or so until it wears down or falls off. I hope you guys all enjoyed this whole process, and I hope you stay tuned and follow me for more content.